I would want them to go. Well, most of them are about halfway unglued, and I don't think that they're. It's good to have something in the tub, and this mat like that works pretty good. I think these fishes I can probably scrape off with a razor blade. It's going to be quite a cleaning process if I, to try to get this clean, but I think it'd be. I think it'd be very worthwhile to do so. <coughs> be worth the trouble. I might get a vacuum and vacuum it out. Get my stuff all over me and everything else when I get over in there. So I don't know if I made a video of this old um, <coughs> these old faucet plungers or not. But this one has a a screw broke off in the end of it. This one has the entire notched end of it broken off. I, uh, I went to town the other day and I ran across this. It looks to me like it's a replacement for this. It looks like it's fittable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in place. And uh, I've actually got hot water already hooked to this. And the way this is set up, somebody made a comment about the uh, this part down here had a thing that looked like a shower head, and, and it did. I had a we weren't using this for baths unless in case of an emergency, like when Trish broke her foot, we used it then. But I had a shower head down here I could cut off, and I had one up there I could cut off. So what I do is I'm gonna screw both these in <clears throat> and turn them both off, and then. Uh, put both of the shower heads on so that I'm aiming the water down into the tub and I'll turn that water valve on and we'll see what we got we'll see if we got a leak there uh, I'm pretty sure I believe this piece of copper pipe is broken but I might be wrong about that it might be okay uh, but I was thinking I could come up from underneath and attach to it I thought it'd be neat to keep the keep that part of the old fixture there if I could. That sure makes the uh, I like I like the idea of hand, having handles. I don't like turn shower things much. Don't like them. Don't care for them. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I have hot water hooked to one side of that already. Go down the basement and put that valve on and then come up here and try it. <laughs> and let's see what happens. I'll leave y'all up here that way if the water starts squirting out you can you can yell at me. So I can run back up the stairs or cut it off or whatever. Whatever. Okay. Maybe this is the side. Oh yeah, that's it. Oops, we got a leak here. Try this again. We got water from there. We have water here. This is the hot side, and this other side is leaking. Well, you know that drain thing works. Uh, I didn't never know that worked before. Must not have been hooked up properly. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, this one has the old piece stuck in the end of it there. The piece that broke off is inside of this one. I wouldn't plan to use these handles. They, they work well enough for test purposes. Okay, so. With both of these cut off. And we'll cut that one on. I want to know if this one's going to leak if I cut it off. Yeah, I 
think what's happening is water's coming through and going back down that pipe down into the basement because that side is still not connected or anything. I'm gonna cut this side off. And we'll go down to the basement, or I'll go down to the basement. Uh, and I wonder if I can get a screw down in there and pull that out. Not that I plan to use these, but until I get some. And you know what, now that now that we've kind of figured out that that works, I may put that old turn handle back on here that we had that used to operate this. I thought that was a pretty neat setup. Uh, it wasn't correct. It's good to know that it works better than poking out of a sharp stick, right?